everybody, Maction here from TabletRoms.com, and I wanted to talk a little bit about some of the news items this week that you might have missed out on. And really, I just have one big one that I wanted to go over right now, and that happens to be VNAND Flash. Now, some of you might be familiar with flash memory. Um, it's in a lot of things, from the camera I'm recording on to the uh, recorder that's capturing the sound to the phone that I'm using that has my little uh, cheat sheet on it. Now, uh... NAND flash is everywhere, and rightly so, because it's a brilliant invention, um, non-volatile -vol memory that's incredibly useful. But let's talk a little bit about how NAND flash works and how this new VNAND flash works. All computer language and programming begins with zeros and ones. Even your awesome Visual Basic skills or HTML5 skills all come down to zeros and one, because binary is what all computer work is based off of. So we started work with floating gate flash. Now what that meant was that you happened to have a substrate, um, a floating gate which was not connected to anything, and a control gate on the top. Now what would happen is as you charged up the substrate you would wind up tunneling, um, you know, whole huge concepts, don't have the time for those right now, but just go with me on this one, but you'd wind up tunneling um, electrons onto the flash gate, or on, onto the floating gate. And when you got enough charge built up on the floating gate, it would register as what had previously been a 1 would now register as a 0. And the control gate on top is what would register the whole, you know, the, the amount of charge on it. Now, we stuck with that for a while, and then later on moved over to charge trap flash. Now, it's very similar in concept, except for instead of a floating gate, they just used a silicon nitrate charge trap. Um, this actually led to a lot of the decreases that we saw in flash memory um, since it was adopted back in, I believe, 2006. All of these previous methods of NAND flash have used a planar setup to their manufacture, and this poses some problems because, shocker, when you pack a lot of charges in a smaller and smaller area, they tend to start to interfere with each other. And that's exactly what has started to happen as we've pulled the process smaller and smaller throughout time. But much like New York City or any other large city, when real estate is at a premium, the solution is to build up. And that's exactly what we're doing. Samsung last week announced that they had begun mass production of vertical NAND flash, or VNAND flash. Um, this is really quite cool because in the same square unit of area, they're now able to build 24 units tall. So this is a 24 times increase um, per unit area in your NAND flash, which definitely bodes well because as we all want, we all want smaller phones, we all want smaller cameras, we all want smaller things, and at the very least, it looks like NAND flash will not be one of the limiting factors in how small we can build things. So a huge step forward. Um, many thanks to Samsung Semiconductor for passing along the graphic that you saw. Um, would have been kind of tough to have explained this without it. So thanks so much, thanks for watching, and next week we'll talk a little bit more about some of the news that you might have missed.